This video focuses on different types of data collected that are usually stored as variables and uses parts from a questionnaire to illustrate, although the concepts covered in this video are relevant for any type of data collection activity. It is important to start thinking about the details introduced in this video during the design of the activity tools. This should ensure that the data collection, entry and analysis will run more smoothly. The identified data usually consists of several variables that are commonly concatenated and referred to as the unique identifier or primary key. Identifier variables can be numeric, text or alphanumeric depending on the context. The identifier variables and primary key must uniquely identify each measurement unit in the activity, whether this is an individual or a plot. All datasets must have a variable or set of variables that uniquely identifies each record. The identifier variables relating to individuals or households must be anonymised. Numeric or continuous data is the result of questions or measurements that naturally give a number response, such as number of household members, yield measurements, plot size, age, amount of fertiliser applied, etc. Different types of numeric data will require slightly different formats to account for different levels of precision. For example, number of individuals or age should always be recorded as a whole number with no decimal places or fractions, whereas when measuring a response such as plot size, it is usually appropriate to include a number of decimal places. When numeric data are the result of measurements, the unit should be specified in advance or be recorded in a separate text column if they are not consistent across all observations. For example, plot sizes in hectares, acres and local units. Additional numerical fields can be derived as part of the transition from raw to primary data. Categorical data or factors are questionnaire or measurement responses that fall into categories. For example, respondent gender, male or female. Where categorical data is being stored numerically, each of the categories should be assigned a code and an accompanying data dictionary must always be provided to decode the information. For example, 1 equals male and 2 equals female. Code lists from within a data dictionary can be recycled across questions if the same categories are used in more than one question. For example, using a single list of occupations the primary and secondary occupations of an individual can be recorded. Free text data is text data that cannot be coded into categories, such as respondent name or data resulting from an open-ended question, such as give your opinion, do you have any further comments or enumerate comments. Free text should be entered exactly as seen in the original source. No text should be paraphrased However, punctuation and accents will need to be removed. If free text may need to be used for any analysis, for example, if the frequency of respondents mentioning a key phrase or word is of interest, it is useful for the data to have been entered either all in uppercase or all in lowercase. Multiple response data is usually the result of responses being a list. For example, name the main types of crops grown on your land or what livestock do you keep, etc. The first option for storing this data is for the number of variables or columns being the maximum number of responses given by any individual. The first response given by a respondent is then entered into the first variable, the second response into the second variable, and so on. The second option is to create a variable for each unique response given and indicate whether each say crop, was specified by the respondent using a yes-no or coded 1-2 responses. This is usually preferred by the analyst, however it can result in a large number of variables. Avoid collecting missing data. For categorical variables, ensure the group responses cover all options. For example, when asking about highest level of education obtained, include a category for no education so that these responses are not collected as missing. You can also add NA and other codes with space to add the details. When collecting numeric data, 
Ensure the value for missing cannot be a plausible response. For example, use minus 99 or a number 10 times that which could be considered a response, such as 999. Try to use consistent missing codes. This will assist the enumerator and reduce the number of mistakes during data collection. The document that corresponds to this video includes additional advice on the types of data introduced in this video, as well as discussing date data, general variable and dataset specifications, and formats for storing images and videos.